Today we are going to look at another postural position that we see commonly in the clinic that can add strain and stress to the lumbar spine. You may remember our good balance posture where there is a gentle lumbar curve and the pelvis is slightly anterior tilted in relation to the back of the pelvis. The supporting muscles are in balance. Today's example is the sway back posture. You will notice here, compared to our normal position, the pelvis is slightly posterior tilted, where the front of the pelvis is slightly higher than the back of the pelvis. As a consequence, there is a flattening of the lumbar spine and we have lost the natural curve. As a consequence of this, different muscles are in a shortened over active working position and other muscles are in a relatively long position and relatively weak to the short muscles. The muscles that are short in a sway back posture are the abdominal muscles, the hip extensor muscles and here there tends to be a predominantly tightness in the hamstring area. The muscles which are long and relatively weak are the hip flexors and the spinal extensors. As a consequence of this muscle imbalance it is appropriate to give different exercises compared to the kaifo lordotic posture. Exercises in the sway back posture consist of lengthening the shortened muscles and retraining and strengthening the relatively long muscles.